This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24, embracing this day. The Lord has given you a precious gift, time in this day. You can squander it by obsessing about food, overeating, and or sleeping off a food hangover, or you can remember whose you are. You have been redeemed and you belong to Jesus. His spirit has been placed inside of you. Because of this, when the food calls, you have the power to say no. You don't have to live life beaten down in Christ. You have kingdom work to do and you must refuse to let food abuse stop you in your tracks. You are strong in the Lord and God wants both your mind and your body to reflect the truth that the King is in control. Thank you, Father, for your everlasting goodness and love. Though fears might come and threaten to undo me, I thank you that I can cry out to you and that you will set me free. Please show me where I am still putting my trust in people, places and things and not in you. Thank you for giving me Jesus. He is my strength. He has put a new song in my mouth. I pray that my life will always say to the world, Jesus is my King. It's in his name that I pray. Amen. Dig deeper. Read Psalm 118, 1 through 24. Underline verses and phrases that speak to your heart. Paraphrase one or more of these. Pray to apply today what God's Word is saying to you. Have you ever written down your salvation story? Bring to mind how the Lord set you free from the power of sin. What are your primary fears at this time? Are you willing to lay them down at the foot of the cross? Do you have a plan for this day? Will God be glorified in it? How is food abuse hindering your work for the Lord today? What are your plans to change this? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen.